here we have Giovanni. So your rotation is pretty good. Uh, extension could be better. Extension is when your hand uh, reaches forward. So you want to make sure you're really uh, really stretching out that lat as well as possible. Your front shoulder will sort of roll under your head. And the way you can tell that is if there's space between your shoulder and your and your face or your head, then you have room for improvement. So you want to fully extend. You have an actual uh, pretty strong pull. And what, what we see here is you have what I call a straight arm pull. So you sort of pull down and then pull back. The, uh, the problem with that is that the first third of that pull winds up pushing the water more down than pulling your body forward. So you want to work on the high elbow catch, getting your hand and your forearm perpendicular to the bottom of the pool or parallel to the back of the pool as quickly as possible. And we talked about that in our session. Your hips and your legs are a little low in the water. And what you can do there, uh, so you know, when you're training for now, use a pull buoy extension. like you are here. That'll help quite a bit. Now here we, we were talking about extension, so on this you're focusing on the extension. You can see the difference between this and the first uh, couple laps that you swam. So every time you extend fully, you'll just be able to grab more water. You'll be able to pull more water with each stroke. So one of the things we talked about was you can focus on extension for 150 and then focusing on the high elbow catch for another 50. And I believe that's what we're trying to do here. So this is working on the high elbow catch. And you are getting out of it, so that's good. Try to try to slow your timing down. One of the issues that you mentioned was uh, sort of fatigue from swimming. So this pace looks like it's something you can train at for a while. Two components to swimming fast: you need to build up your endurance, and then you work on your speed. So if you jump in and you go, you know, hard every lap you wind up being uh, worn out pretty quickly. So using that pull buoy right, will be so good is, so that you can focus on your form, the catch -up drill. build up your swim-specific endurance, uh, swim and work on technique for, uh, while you're doing all that. Piece, uh, so this is the catch-up uh, drill, using the paddle to really to stop yourself from starting the pull too quickly. The focus of catch-up drill is extension and the high elbow catch. I had you break that into two components. So you focused on the extension and then the catch. And this is good. This is this is sort of the catch-up drill, the traditional catch-up drill. Breathing-wise, uh, make sure that you exhale while you, as soon as your face turns into the water, make sure you start with the exhalation. I can see there that a lot of your exhalation was right before you turned to breathe. Right, so one arm drill. You could tell by the amount of sort of bubbles that, that come out of your mouth right before you turn your head. So make sure you're you're continuously exhaling when your face is in the water. And this is one arm drill here. One arm drill is both a strength training drill as well as a technique drill. This would be good to do with fins or with pull buoy.
and you have a, a more effective catch with your left arm. You can tell the difference if you rewind this and watch your right versus your left. So that high elbow catch again, that hand and forearm, go vertical as early as possible or parallel to the back of the pool. And then you pull yourself past that point, pull your body past that point.